and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're joining us here in the flight control room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console monitoring all the systems on board the orbiting laboratory. They're monitoring the systems on board for the crew of Expedition 31, who's currently up there in space. Starting on the left, we have NASA astronaut Don Pettit, and in the middle, Expedition 31 commander Alog Kononenko from the Russian Space Agency, and then our third uh, Expedition 31 crew member on the right is Andre Kuipers, native of the Netherlands and member of the European Space Agency. So the crew on board today getting into quite a bit of uh, heavy experiment work, taking a break from some of the more uh, time-consuming maintenance tasks that they've been doing all week. The crew woke up today at about 1 a.m. Central Time, and uh, starting off with Commander Konyanko, who one of the first activities he did today was do an interactive event with some uh, Russian television stations down on the ground, recording a few greetings. Then following that, he moved into the Russian segment for some uh, few maintenance activities, starting off taking some electrical readings from a, a few of the Russian systems, checking the amps and frequency running through them, some standard checks to ensure everything that is working properly. And then over the last few hours, he's been doing some maintenance on the Russian toilet and one of the uh, two toilets on board the International Space Station. His activities with those today are replacing the urine receptacle and also the filter insert inside. Moving on, we have European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers. He began his day doing some uh, inventory work of the Human Research Facility supply kits. He's also doing some more unloading of cargo from the Automated Transfer Vehicle 3, or ATV-3, currently docked to the station. This will be his third day of doing such activities and tagging up with controllers down here on the ground as he continues to track uh, all of the cargo and packages and supplies and hardware that he's been unloading from that vehicle. He'll also be doing some work with the SLAMD, which stands for the Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device uh, body mass measurement system. He'll be doing that. It's one of the few items on board the station that the astronauts can actually use to uh, record and track their mass, or uh, another word for that down here on the Earth you could call is weight. And due to that microgravity environment, they can't just stand on a scale, so they use this. Uh, it's kind of like a handle that accelerates into the wall, and using the fundamental physics of behind acceleration and mass, the astronauts can then calculate just how big their body is. He'll also be doing uh, some pre-pack work for items that will be loaded onto the upcoming SpaceX Dragon capsule once it uh, flies and docks to the International Space Station later this month. And also doing some routine cleaning on some bacteria filters on the, in the atmosphere revitalization system in nodes 1, 2, and 3 on the U.S. segment. And then our final Expedition 31 crew member, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, is doing uh, quite a bit of experiment work today, starting off with the binary colloidal alloy test, which uses uh, these microscopic particles known as colloids as models for stu studying the fundamental physics of the liquid crystal phase. He's also spending some time working with the BAS experiment today, BAS standing for the burning and suppression of solids. You can see some video here of him working on that. And that is an investigation that examines the burning and extinction characteristics of a wide variety of fuel samples in microgravity. This, morning, this experiment hopes to guide strategies for extinguishing accidental fires in that microgravity environment on board the station, but also could contribute to uh, different computational models using the design of fire detection and suppression systems not only in microgravity, but also down here on Earth. He'll also be relocating some emergency equipment prior to the arrival of the next Soyuz vehicle. And later this uh, afternoon, he'll be doing a ham radio pass, getting a chance to talk with students at the Mariners Museum in Newport News, Virginia.